Good morning everyone. Making use of our time. Ephesians chapter 5 verses 15 and 16. In December 1632, John Milton, the English poet and author of Paradise Lost, Milton was learning early in life that time is short and opportunities quickly disappear. Time is precious indeed. Too often we realize just how precious it is only when it is too late. Many people approach the end of life journey haunted by regrets of if only. Yes, opportunities are missed or foolishly squandered. Paul urges us first to look carefully regarding how we walk. Every decision that presents itself to us can result in an almost endless number of consequences. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. Oftentimes we suffer the effects of our choices only because we have not taken the time to ponder thoughtfully the potential consequences of our actions. God also makes it clear in his word that our time in this world is short. Moses writing as a very old man, as he looks back on how fast his years have passed, says, they are soon gone and we fly away. Psalms 19.10 he prays that God would teach us to number our days that we may get a heart of wisdom. The reality of death and ultimate accountability to God helps us to pay attention to the briefness of life here on earth. Whether our days are many or few in this life, the prospect of the day we meet God face to face should be the thought that fills us. How we can present ourselves before God. Our generation perhaps like none other needs to learn that time is most precious, God-given period to explore and use it wisely. The days are evil as we are living in the last days. Thus, Paul wants us to use time wisely because Jesus is coming back soon. There's only limited time period for which we can serve him and spread his gospel. The opportunities that we have for ministry today may not be there tomorrow and we should take every opportunity that people from all nations might become disciples of Christ. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the wisdom that we need to utilize the opportunity and the time in hand. Help us to glorify you through the endeavors of our life daily. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.